Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 109. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, this YouTuber wanted to calculate a daily interest rate and then calculate a daily interest rate schedule. He wanted to see how much interest he was earning each day. Now, the trick to this was this was a leap year, and with the input we had was only uh, the year. In this last YouTuber video, 108, we saw how to create this formula right here. This formula calculates how many days are in the year. And guess what? We have to have that. We have to know the number of days in the year if we're calculating daily interest rate. I'm going to click in this cell right here, and we're going to use the rate function equals rate. It wants the NPER. We already count. Hey, what's going on there? That's just formatting. I'm going to control shift tilde, which gets um, general number format, 366. Right, we need NPER, so we're going to take our 366. That's the number of compounding periods in one in total, and this is only one year. Comma, we don't have a PMT because we're not putting in periodic payments, comma, but we do have a present value. We have this $1,000, and guess what? When you put $1,000 in the bank, it's actually coming out of your wallet into the bank, so you have to put a minus. And then comma, what's the future value? Well, this person said they knew what the future value was. It was 1,125. They just wanted to calculate the daily interest rate. Close parentheses and enter. What's that? Zero. How do we go from 1,000 to 1,125? That's just decimals, so increase your decimals. Ooh, that's pretty small there. Now let's calculate our daily interest rate schedule. The balance at the time is set up a little schedule 1 to 366. So, all right, and click right there and control down arrow to jump. Oh, sure enough, control up arrow. The balance equals the amount we put in, which is the 1,000. Enter. And now the interest equals whatever was in the account for yesterday's day times our daily rate. Click right there. And we need to lock it going down. So I'm going to hit F4, F4. Dollar sign in front of the number means it's locked when you copy it across the rows. Control Enter, or Tab I should have done, because we want to do our balance format. Equals this plus the interest we just earned. Wow, 32 cents almost. Uh, enter. And then I'm going to highlight both of these. And guess what? Since there's something to the left, we can just double click and send it down. Now I'm going to click in this cell and Control Down arrow. And sure enough, look at that. It comes out exactly right. That's a way of triple checking. Control Home to get back to the top. See if that's right. So that's a daily interest rate and a daily interest rate schedule. All right, see you next trick.